what do you think about starting an initiative on campus here at UK to be more inclusive to women who have penises and we can put urinals in the women's restroom for them? Sounds fantastic. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. What about, let's take it one step close, you know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Sounds great. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll see anything wrong with those statements? No. What men do I mean, you know like with the periods? General use ones like in Willie T have pads. I use them pretty often. So. What do you think about putting urinals in the women's restroom for women who have penises? Um, that's fine. If it makes them feel comfortable, I don't mind. Like I don't, I don't really care about it. Are you willing to accept that women, some women, do have penises? Yeah. We're here today at the University of Kentucky to see if college kids think we should put tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods and urinals in the women's restrooms for women who have ding-dongs. A very important question for you. Okay. Should we put pads and tampons in the men's restroom to be more inclusive to men who have periods? Here on campus. I'm not, I'm not gonna answer the question because I don't want to offend anyone. But what? That's... You're not gonna say your opinion out of fear of offending someone? You're a man, come on. What do you think? Should we be more inclusive towards trans people by putting urinals in the women's restroom? I mean, they gotta do what they gotta do, so I mean, it's not Because not me. all women have vaginas. Some of them okay. have penises, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I just mind my own business. I'm not that big into it. Uh -huh. All right. What do you think? I mean, Should we put tampons in the men's restroom? It would not bother me because, again, we do not pick who we become and who we are, so it's yeah. up to them. Because not all, because men do have periods too, right? Well, genetically, no. Not well, biologically, no, but okay. that middle area because it's, it is a spectrum. What's a spectrum? You know, when you're born, you have an X and a Y chromosome. You can be in the middle, all this. You either have XX or XY? No. It's kind of in the middle, it's just... No, literally, you either have XX or XY. Okay, I'm just gonna... What's your major? Psychology. And you don't know about chromosomes and male and female? I do know about chromosomes and male and female. I'm just on my way somewhere okay. instead of somebody... All right, we'll put tampons in, the, in your bathroom. Should we put urinals in the women's restrooms here on campus to be more inclusive to women who stand up when they pee because they have penises? Yeah, I think so. Why? Um, I feel like everybody should have like the right to identify themselves as who they are and um, they should be included. And so if they identify as female, but they're originally, they were born as a male. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if they identify as female, then they should have the right to use the female or the women's restroom, but still have the, uh, uh, the ability to actually, you know. You got some big bucks buying $200 AirPods. You know, you can donate to me at CaitlinBennett.org. You can go there. He's got $200. He can buy some merch or donate to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. Hello. Would you like to have tampons in the men's restroom? Uh, I don't see an issue with it. It's Me neither. Necessary. Yeah, it's necessary. Yes. Yes. Should we put urinals in the women's restrooms here on campus to be more inclusive to women who have penises? You know, they stand up when they pee. I mean, if there's the money in the budget for it, sure. Okay, uh, well, what if there was money to put free tampons and pads in men's restrooms for men who have periods? If there's a budget, I don't see a problem. Do you see a problem with me asking you about men having periods? No, I mean, it's a college campus. There's a lot of ideas to share. I mean... What is a period? I mean... What? What's a period? A uh, biological function. Of? What do you... I'm confused. What do you mean? Who has periods? People with the People? organs to do that. Who has organs to do that? Okay. Uh, a good You're question. uncomfortable. It's a good question. Yes. Mm -hmm. What if I gave you an option between men and women 
Who has the organs that have a period? That's a very good question. Yes. I'll... Yes. Thank you. He needs a girlfriend <laughs> to understand who has organs to know. If you were to walk into the women's restroom and you saw a woman with a penis there using a urinal, would you be concerned or would you accept it and be inclusive? What would you do? Um, it's none of my business. It's none of your business that a man no. is in the women's restroom. If they're in the women's restroom, then they identify as a woman. Oh. Who would have known men walking into... Okay, don't question anything about men walking into women's restrooms ever. They're just there because they're women. They're not, not predators, no. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm laughing. I think you're oh, thank you. Huge fans. <laughs> yes, huge I'm fans. I'm glad you went down there. They treated you like crap at that Trump ceremony. That's okay. Uh, I'm a strong girl. Oh. My phone died. How dare you? You got some spiffy shoes on. Yeah. I really like them. Thank you. So I have a question for you. Okay. It's real easy. It's not hard or anything. Do you think we should pass an initiative here on campus to put tampons and pads in men's restrooms for men who have periods? Uh, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I mean, men having periods and men having a period, so. Uh, I say yes. I say men go through hardships, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they're having a period. That sounds yeah, I mean, pretty pretty hard on I mean, them, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've never had one, but I mean, I'm sure there's a couple out there, you know, have a little cramp, a little stomach ache, you know, something like that, you know? You know it's more than that, right? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's just like... What is a period? It was like the, uh, like... Like scientifically, okay. Well, like, well, in the most basic terms, dead eggs, and then they excrete from the well. In a man's case, from the penis. Do men have eggs? We're gonna have to. I guess to shed that uterine lining, right? It's 2019. It's 2019. Genetics can change. Everything can have. Everything can change. Penises turn into vaginas. Yes. I mean, come on now. I mean, I mean, technically, we all have both. Should we? put tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Uh, I would well, say I yes because period. myriads are real. Myriads. myriads? What is that? A man period. Do women have penises? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, okay, we don't know who has penises and vaginas. Okay, have a good day. Hope you figure it out. Here's a free lesson in natural sciences. Men don't have periods. Take it to the bank. Should we reinforce that and say that's okay? Or should we say, whoa, you're not really a woman, come on. You know, I, I, I do science, I do physics. That's what's simpler, I'd like to stick to that. This this is complicated, right? I, I want to- I don't know, this sounds like science to me. Men and women, vaginas, chromosomes, penises, genetics. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. There is science to that, okay. yeah. I've been asking students today if men have periods and if women have penises. <laughs> you're, you're a science for teacher. I guess they don't teach that in physics. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a science professor. What do you think about putting tampons and pads in the men's restroom here on campus for men who have periods? Yeah, absolutely. That's essential. Yeah, there's there's uh there's more than people think. What men having periods? Mm -hmm. Yeah. By God. Did you s tell them to seek medical help if men are having periods? Well, trans men have periods. Oh. Okay. Okay. Explain that one to me. Yeah. So, uh, so people who have uh, transitioned from female to male, um, you know, obviously, you know, they might still have periods and. You know, if they identify as male, you know, they have the right to go into the men's room. Uh, but if they're still having periods, they have the right to have, you know, the products they need. Do you remember me? We had class together that one time. We are freshmen. Mm -hmm. We had class together that one time. <laughs> Do you guys think we should be putting free pads and tampons in the men's restroom for men who have periods? Um, you know how they have those like things with condoms? You could just make one set of that 
and just put them in both bathrooms and then that really defeats the purpose it's like and it'd probably be easier to mass produce as well just like that one system instead of two do you think we should put tampons in men's restrooms okay. for men who have periods men who have periods what I'm talking about like transgender people what do you think about putting urinals in the women's restroom for women who have penises um that's fine if it makes them feel comfortable i don't mind like i don't i don't really care about it are you willing to accept that women some women do have penises yeah i mean i'm all for like People, I just want people to feel comfortable. Like if they want to use the women's restroom, I have no problem with it. Has anyone ever told you you look like Brian Stelter? No. <laughs> you do. Sorry, I'm late for <laughs> you know, regular cis men, you know, don't necessarily have to have a urinal, yeah. uh, per se. Um, it could be nice. Um, you said regular cis men. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that just be a regular man? Uh, it would be a regular cis man. Uh, What's the difference? Uh, cis just means that you identify as the gender that you were born as. Okay. Uh, so How should I approach people if I don't know what they are? Should I say, hello, sir, ma'am? Should I just guess? Uh, there's a couple ways to go about it. Um, I generally, if I'm not sure, I avoid words like sir or ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not sure, they is always a, a good pronoun to use. Men don't have periods. Cis men don't have periods. Cis men don't have periods, but some men do. Yes. All right. Thank you for the lesson. Good I appreciate thing. it. Thank you. You want to jump in? You guys can do it together. Not, um, I just know that if I don't say profanities, this probably won't get played, but Kentucky does not stand for sexism, yeah. is like <laughs> phobia, things like that. Yeah, Kentucky that. doesn't. Who's standing for that type of stuff? I know the people surrounding me at the University of Kentucky, and I know Who? that this Do these people? This is gonna she said the, the people Kentucky at the University of Kentucky are Sir, Are any of you guys No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you're trying, you probably won't play this because we're standing up to things like that, and that's not what Kentucky's about. Okay, where do you about. see around? Who are you standing up to? I just wanted to put this message out there, but I have studying to do. I don't know about you, but I yeah, study. you got to study, because there's no one on this campus who's doing, what's your, what's your major? It's Spanish and art history. Yes, it is. What? Who are you with? Liberty Hangout, right here. That's We're the cool. number one YouTube channel on YouTube. Oh, seriously? Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a follow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, number one, we have the most subscribers out of any channel. That's really cool. Yeah. Should we put tampons and pads in the men's restroom to be more inclusive to men who have periods? I mean, sure. Why not? Okay. Wouldn't hurt anything. Hmm. I don't know. I, I mean, Jesus, uh, think about it. I'm going to ask you a different it. question. Should we put urinals in the women's restroom to be more inclusive to women who have penises? Um, I mean, if it doesn't hurt anybody, I don't see what the problem of having it is. What do you think about putting urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises and they just want to stand and pee? Um, I think people just making too big of a f deal about it. I don't really care. Ooh. Naughty words. Okay, so we should or shouldn't? I mean, I don't really care. Okay, what about tampons and pads and men's restroom for men who have periods? If you're really getting that worked up about it, why does it matter? Like, I don't care. It's just sitting there. I'm not going to take it. Okay, so we should provide men with tampons. I mean, if a dude wants a tampon for some reason, he can have a tampon. That's not my business. What would he use it for? I don't know. That's his problem. What would he use a pad for? His problem. Do you think they should seek medical advice if they're having bleeding? I mean, if they want to, I don't really care. Why should I care? I don't know. I care about people. If they're you know, bleeding I, out of their penis, yeah, I would want to... I care about people's personal rights. They can do whatever they want. It's not, none of my business. How are you? High five. Cool. What would you do if you walked into a restroom here on campus and there was a basket of free tampons for men? Uh, I'd just stare at it and be like, what the hell? <laughs> you wouldn't be like, oh yeah, some men have periods. No. Are you telling me you don't think men have periods? Yeah. Because it's my understanding that men don't have vaginas. Yeah. <laughs> some men do. I mean, Bernie Sanders, well. I'm pretty sure he has one. <laughs> 
What's in your laptop case? Laptop. Your laptop. Are you sure? That's not what I heard. I have an important question for you. Okay. What do you think about putting urinals in the women's restroom for women who have penises? I don't care about them. <laughs> cut it, cut it. <laughs> what do you think about starting an initiative on campus here at UK to be more inclusive to women who have penises and we can put urinals in the women's restroom for them? Sounds fantastic. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. What about, let's take it one step close you know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Sounds great. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything wrong with those statements? No. Okay. What men I do mean, you like know with periods? General use ones like in Willie T have pads. I use them pretty often. So. I use them pretty often. So. Should we put tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods? Sure. Men don't have periods. What? Men don't have periods. You're the first one to correct me today. Well, they don't. Girls have periods, not guys. What if we took, took it one step further and put urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises? That wouldn't have any effect I would, on that. I would have no issue with <laughs> I don't that. get how anybody could have a problem with yeah. that. You think girls on this campus would have a problem walking in and there's a Some of them dick will, hanging out? Some of them would, but I mean... So we just say it's too bad, we gotta be inclusive. Like if girls are upset about it, should we say we gotta be diverse and inclusive? It's not that simple, but yeah, we should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too bad, ladies, if you don't wanna see a penis in your bathroom, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> All right, you heard it there. All right, you guys need to go to Chick-fil-A more, get some more blessings. Hi, sir. Would you like tampons in your bathroom? If it's about my everyone uses shirt. What? Why? Why are you asking? I don't know. I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to pull here. Maybe we can be bathrooms? tampons in men's restrooms. Oh, you're trying to go like make it trans? Are you trying to like argue something about like against trans? No, I'm asking if you think that we should have tampons for men who have periods. No comment. I'm not. Gonna Why not? I'm good. Why not? I'm good. I don't have to give my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know. Freedom. You get a good picture of me. You want a better one? Yeah, go ahead. He said he likes answering questions. I have two very progressive questions for you. Are you a progressive? I'm a big conservative. Ooh. Are you Kaylin Bennett? <laughs> but you look like her. I look just like her. I sound just like her. We have the same length hair, same say. eyes, but I'm not her, believe it or not. I know. Mm -mm. No. Crazy you would assume that. I'm sorry. Okay. Talking about assuming, yeah. should we put urinals in women's restrooms here on campus to make women with penises feel more comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it's important to make everyone feel included. Um, I I'm, thought you said you were a huge conservative. I am. We're dripping. It's dripping? Worth it, it's worth it though, don't okay, worry. Okay, dripping, that's a good, I, I like that because it's a good transition into my question, talking about dripping and all this stuff. Do you think we should put tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods? Men have periods? That's what I've heard on Twitter. Uh, I disagree with that. I don't need them, so I don't really care what they do. Okay. But I don't need them personally, so... Are there any men that need tampons? I don't know any. I'll just uh, have to plead the fifth and... What makes you so scared to say your opinion? I mean, it's just the campus that we're on is very liberal, and I don't really consider myself a liberal, and uh, I get in trouble pretty easy, so... I just think women are women, men are men. You have DNA. You can't okay, here we go. We talked to a man earlier, a conservative man, and he's like, oh, I can't say it. I'll get in trouble on campus. Here's a lady. Conservative ladies are so much stronger than conservative men. I swear. Okay, you got it. Let's get a picture. It's Liberty Hangout. This is the website to, or the YouTube channel to check out. Yep, YouTube channel is Liberty Hangout. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you get alerted of every single video we do. Coming to an end on our campus tour here, so you want to get the rest of that. Will you subscribe? Uh, I'll check it out first, yeah. yeah. And of course you guys know the drill already. I don't have to tell you that I need your guys' support to be able to come out here and keep making these videos, interviewing people, just talking to everyday regular people who are going to protest. You can go to CaitlinBennett.org and check out weekly deals. We have a whole section of weekly deals that you guys can purchase products from. Supplements, masks for Halloween. You can be the forbidden man for Halloween. We have a mask of him. Shirts, bumper stickers, books, everything. And the best part, 
is that it supports me directly and I will be forever grateful if you guys start going there and getting products from there.